welcome to a first look and demonstration on the Steam in-home streaming. Um, well, this is pretty much like a new feature uh, that is uh, currently in beta uh, for Steam right now. And it's pretty much, uh, if you haven't heard of it, anything about this, it's pretty much um, uh, a new, um, uh, well, I mean, I guess you could say service from Valve, and it's pretty much going to allow you to um, uh, stream a uh, Steam game from one computer on your network to another. And I'm pretty much, I mean, I'm, I'm sure some of you are saying, like, why would you want to even do this? But, I mean, if you think about it, I mean, let's say that you have, like, your, um, like your main PC that's, I mean, you know, it's like a, a, like a pretty average gaming PC. And it has, like, most of your, um, Steam games on it. You want to stream, or, well, rather, you, you want to play those games on your, um, a laptop, which might not be that good, it might be from, well, it, it might be like a, f like a few years old, kind of like this one is, this one is from uh, 2009, and it only has uh, a single core processor, so it can't run uh, very many of the, um, you know, like all the new games that are coming out, but what you can do is, um, you can actually uh, stream Steam games uh, from that um, uh, main PC over to your less powerful PC. And that's what we're going to be doing in this video. We're going to be taking a look at this, and it's actually very cool, um, but it is very dependent on your uh, internet connection. So if you don't have like the best um, like internet connection in your house, uh, or if you have someone that like always watches like you know like Netflix or something like that, then this is probably going to be not the best experience for you because you're going to experience a lot of lag and. Uh, a lot of latency, and that's not always good. You're, and you're going to be seeing that here because, um, well, first off, this computer is not that powerful, and second off, um, the actual internet connection between these two machines isn't that great. Uh, and the reason why, if you're wondering why I have this uh, like actual Steam uh, group page up here, is this is the um, like actual Steam group page that you have to join if you want to gain access to this service. It's called, uh, well, if you look on Steam for the group called Home Stream. Uh, that's what the um, uh, group is called. And uh, if you uh, join the group and you get accepted, then they will um, pretty much grant you this um, like a beta feature. Um, so we're just going to be taking uh, a look at it in this video. Uh, first on Windows, and I'm also going to be trying it, uh, to do it on um, my uh, other Linux partition to see how all well that works. So anyway, with all that aside, first I'm going to be showing you... Uh, how the uh, user interface actually looks. So if you go up here to your Steam menu and you go to settings, you'll know when you actually gain access to this when you see a, a new tab called in-home streaming. And I'm going to zoom in on here so you can see it a little bit better. Now as you can see here, uh, we have uh, a few options. First we have the um, like the PC that you are actually connected to, uh, which it says that's my um, like main PC up there. It says connected. You can also, uh, I'm not really sure if you can see those options that well, but uh, they say um, uh, limit bandwidth to, and you can change it uh, to a, uh, a variety of options. The default is automatic. You can lock frame rate to, uh, and it's either automatic 30 FPS or 60 FPS. And you can limit resolution to. Now this is very interesting, because um, pretty much how this works is it is only able to stream uh, how can I say this? Because this is going to be very confusing for some of you guys. Um, so that main PC that you're actually like actually streaming a game from, uh, let's say you have like a uh, like a 720p monitor hooked up to it, and you want to like uh, stream a game to a 1080p monitor, um, you're only going to be able to receive the game footage or will the game stream in 720p because that is the maximum resolution that that um, like monitor can handle because the game is actually running uh, on that uh, like main PC while it is being streamed uh, to the client PC. So pretty much the main PC is being used as a server while the PC you're actually uh, streaming the game to is used as a client. That's pretty much how this works. So. Um, just to sort of like bring the lag down, I'm going to be streaming this in 720p instead of 1080p. 
um, and I tried uh, a 480p, but for some reason it didn't work uh, with a lot of the games. So that's where I'm going to be having it down to uh, 1280 by 720, um, because running 1980 or 1920 by 1080 on um, this machine is probably not going to work that great. So anyway, that is all the um, options that you get. You also get a uh, disable hardware decoding checkbox because pretty much um, how it actually sends the game stream over is it actually will compress the um, like the game footage into an H.264 file, which is pretty much like an MP4 file. Then it will send that over the network to the other PC that you're actually streaming the game to. That PC will then decode it and then accept input and then send that input back to the main PC where it's, it was actually being run off of. So if you understood all that, it's pretty much a constant connection between the uh, two machines. But anyway, uh, let's just uh, get out of this here. I'm going to go to the uh, Steam library here. I'm going to be testing out a few games. One is the Stanley Parable because I just have that installed on my main PC. And I don't actually have it installed on this computer. If you see here, uh, I can either uh, stream it or I can install it on this machine. This is not on this machine at all, so we're actually going to be seeing how this works um, well. Uh, and this is a uh, just like a standard Windows game. Uh, it's a very good game if you've uh, ever played it. Uh, I think it's about $14.99 right now in the uh, Steam store. Uh, and we're going to be trying out a few games. I'm not. I mean, we're going to probably try out uh, like maybe Portal 2, maybe Half-Life 2. I'm not uh, certain, but I also uh, want to see how well that works on Ubuntu Linux because that's going to be very interesting to see. So anyway, enough talking. Let's just click on the stream button here. I was going to say preparing to stream the Stanley Parable, and it's going to start running. Now I can't really show you right now, but on my um, like main PC, which is actually sitting right next to me, the game is like actually starting up. So um, you pretty much can't use the uh, main PC uh, or the server computer while uh, it is actually streaming a game. And apparently now it just went to the desktop for some reason. So you see, this is very interesting because this is my desktop right here. And apparently TeamViewer decided to pop up. So now we're streaming my computer's desktop over. So let me just go over here and close out of this. So you see, now I'm actually like controlling this computer from here. It's very, very interesting. That, that's how finicky that this um, software is right now. But anyway, uh, so you can't actually use the... Uh, I guess we'll call it the uh, server computer while it's actually uh, running the game because if you like actually mouse out of it then you're going to just go back to your uh, like um, normal computer's desktop uh, which would kind of defeat the whole purpose of this but uh, anyway uh, if you notice down here in the corner it says uh, you can see that right here probably can't really zoom in on it but it says streaming beta 1280 by 720 at 20 Eight and it's just like uh, changing, but that is the uh, actual FPS rate right now. It's at like about 30. It keeps um, you know changing, and you can press F6, which we can see in the dark here. Uh, F6 shows the um, pretty much like the lag uh, latency graph here it shows how like how the uh, game is actually being received. It shows the rate that it's being received at, and it shows any latency. So right now it is receiving this at uh, a 200 and or, or 2,000 and I, I can't really because it's just it's changing constantly. I'm not really sure if you can see it. Uh, right now it is at about uh, a 2,000 kilobits per second because uh, this is pretty much like a video uh, file right here. And anyway, we'll um, we will I'll get rid of this and you can see there was that major lag spike. You can probably see that right there. So that's how laggy that uh, this software is right now. Um, but of course that could uh, be because I'm using a single core computer with a not so great internet connection. But anyway, you can see that we have uh, full control over the game. It's just very laggy, but you can see I'm like actually mousing over the uh, game options here. So if I want to, uh, if I can see it here, I can't really see, I can't really see what it's doing. It's very, very laggy. So we're going to go mouse down here to begin the game. We're going to click on begin the game, and now it's loading. With its the end is never screen here. 
And I'm actually gonna I actually wanna see how well that this uh, little like intro sequence plays out. So let's see here. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company of big right, so not bad so far. And now it's starting to get a little bit uh, worse, but you know, pretty good for um, a single core computer running uh, a game that probably wasn't made to run on a single core uh, computer here. And you can see it here, we can just uh, click here and we'll skip this whole thing, because I'm sure if you've played this game, you've kind of seen it before. And here we are in the office. Uh, now, moving around is very, very, very laggy. <laughs> Very, very laggy, um, but it does get better. Uh, right now it's running at about like f 15 frames per second. So, but about here we are in the uh, little office here, and you can see that the audio is not coming through that well, and the game kind of froze. And you see I can kind of move around here. It's not that smooth, but it's getting better. It just depends on what all is going on in the game at that time. You see, here I am just moving around in the office, you know, uh, not the greatest, and I'm looking over at my uh, main PC, it's actually keeping up uh, fairly well uh, compared to the um, game that's running on my main computer. So let's go through here, and I'm using a, um, a uh, like, just a standard laptop trackpad, so I don't have a normal mouse, that's why I'm, like, kind of, like, just, like, moving around very slowly here, because of, um... Like, I'm not really used to using a trackpad with these type of games. So we'll go in here. I'm not, I'm not going to play this whole game for you guys. I'm just going to show you how, you know, good or bad. I mean, you can probably be, like, a judge of that. But, I mean, for right now, I probably couldn't be able to use this software because of my internet connection. And, I mean, I'm not really sure if it's the, um, like, actual internet connection. It's probably because this computer is I'm not really designed to run any of these games. But it does, uh, you know, handle it pretty decently if we can say that. So anyway, we'll click on, you know, quit here, and we'll quit the game. And now we will go straight back uh, to the desktop. Um, so, uh, I think that is all there really is to say uh, for the Windows side of things. Uh, now what we're actually going to be do doing is something pretty interesting. We're going to be uh, uh, switching over to uh, a Linux partition that I have on this computer. And we're going to be seeing how well that it handles uh, Steam in-home streaming, or even if it can support it. Uh, so, I will uh, switch this machine over to Linux, and I will be right back. Alright guys, so we have uh, switched over to the uh, Linux side of things. I'm now running uh, Ubuntu Linux here on the uh, exact same computer, uh, with the uh, exact same specs and all that. Now first off, like before that we actually start streaming a game, I'm going to be showing you that of all the games that I own on Steam, only, let's see here, 17 of them are compatible with Linux. And they're listed here on the side here. And you can probably, I mean, if you want, you can um, read them off to yourself. But, so, I mean, Linux is, you know, it's, I mean, Steam uh, came out for Linux, I think, sometime last year. So it hasn't really been that long. Um, but what I think Valve is actually trying to do with Steam uh, in home streaming is, um, pretty much allow other operating systems to play, um, you know, well, like, I mean, pretty much Windows games, because most games, when they're first made, are made on Windows, and then they are eventually ported over to Mac and, uh, Linux, but, I mean, let's say that you own a, um, Windows PC and you own a Mac, and you want to play a game that is only on your, um, Windows PC on your Mac, or your other Linux PC, well, now you can do that with uh, Steam in-home streaming. Your entire Windows library of Steam games has just now become available to, uh, to play on a Mac or a Linux computer, which is pretty cool. And the same could go if you have, like, a Mac, and, you know, in that odd case, there would be a game that's only designed for Mac or Linux, and you would want to, uh, you know, uh, play it on your uh, Windows PC. You could use this uh, for that, but I've never really seen a game that is, uh, or a uh, Steam game, rather, that is designed for, um, Mac or Linux before Windows. Um, but anyway, now if I switch over to all games, uh, you can see that uh, the, the list grows much larger. Uh, and uh, I'm going to be pl playing the same game, uh, The Stanley Parable, here. 
you can see that I get uh, like no actual side options because the Stanley Parable is a game that doesn't run on Linux at all. It only runs on Mac and PC. Uh, they haven't made one for uh, Linux yet, so we're going to be seeing um, how all this works. And one thing I probably should do is go to the Steam options here and change my limit desktop resolution down to 720p just so that it doesn't lag extremely bad here. And as you can see, we are connected to the uh, same exact computer up there. Uh, but anyway, I'll, we'll just click on OK. And we will stream the Stanley Parable here. And now this is on Linux, on uh, Ubuntu Linux, a non-Linux game running uh, on Linux. So we're going to see how all this works. Again, we're going to probably get the same amount of lag we got last time. Uh, since, you know, it's uh, in the course. I've mentioned that many times because of the... Uh, uh, computer itself and the internet connection, but anyway, uh, let's, uh, let's see how well this works. Uh, we were actually streaming at, um, well, we were streaming at uh, a solid 29 frames per second, and now we're uh, going down to about 10. Um, but of course, that's just the uh, loading screen. So let's see how well this video this plays. Stanley worked for a company in a big building that actually seems a little bit better on Linux. I'm actually surprised. There's no, um, like, audio skipping of any kind. Uh, it's not that staticky, actually. I mean, well, this is because it's kind of how, like, the game is supposed to be at this point. But, well, here's a little bit of lag. But anyway, let's just click on... Just click here. And let's see. So now we're running at about uh, 15 frames per second. So we're going to get that lag again. It seems to be moving very fast. Maybe that's just a setting I have set. But actually, that seems a lot smoother. You can actually walk out here. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stan decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Go through the office here. And let's walk. Um, when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, door, you know, the door, door on his left. Man. This is actually this is actually quite playable. I'm actually very surprised uh, at 15 frames per second, um, uh, running the Stanley Herbal on a Linux computer. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Yeah, and there's like hardly any like audio skipping at all. So let's we'll go up to the boss's office here. We'll probably end it up there. I don't want to, uh, like, actually, uh, you know, spoil anything for those of you who haven't played this game yet. Um, we'll go in here, you know. And, yeah, it's very, uh, very nice. Of the only thing, um, that I'm noticing is, like I said, when I just slightly move my hand on the, uh, trackpad, it makes the, um, you know, just makes this happen. It goes crazy. Um... And I guess that there's probably like a um, you know like a setting that I can probably change. Maybe that's like the that's running on on Linux or something like that. But it's running at about a solid 15 frames per second. I'm actually very surprised. Um, so yeah, that's the Stanley Parable, a non-Linux game running on a Linux computer, and it's actually handling it very well for a 2009 uh, a Toshiba Satellite L305D single-core computer. And that's actually very uh, very good for a single core computer, if you think about it. Um, but anyway, guys, uh, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for the Steam in-home streaming first look and uh, demo here. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, uh, then definitely be sure to uh, like and subscribe uh, to the channel uh, uh, for more videos like this in the future. And as always, I will see you in the next video.